smart agro innovations once again today in fact what you see around here still remain our brain energy today it's a complete farm on its own um definitely by next year most of all these uh, suckers are going to be transplanted but if you see now there are a lot of plantains around we've been harvesting and harvesting and harvesting these ones you see they are just on the bed we did not even we did not do proper planting what was on the bed and we just left there and look at the result that we've had there are a series of uh, plantains fruit a lot of them you know uh, this is a special variety of plantain in ghana in ghana we call it meritia it has a characteristic of banana uh, this particular variety that is the meritia in fact it is so special and it is not common you know our system yes so if you look at how it is there there had been some logging you know um it's just because of what overgrowth over maturity now the stem had or the pseudo stem the stem itself including the pseudo stem um the, this plantain have been able to complete its life cycle therefore it's supposed to be harvested but for the purpose of our practical and because we needed ripe plantain um we decided to leave it and then look at the span as well. So you can see that indeed this is completely dried. Sometimes people ask, how do you determine that indeed this particular plantain is or banana is matured? Look at this. This is fully matured. You can see this one it has also completed its life cycle. There is no life in it, it is completely dead. It is dead. Look. Uh, so the whole um stem has been able to complete its life cycle so it is very very weak that is how can you see the log you know that it is it is not a disease um incident just that the plant the stem is very very old in fact we have a lot of uh, plantains here before we move you can see that even if, if you look at this one it is also ready for harvesting and the uh, uh, we have, we have, we have a lot of plantains here. This one is also, this is very mature, very soft. It will also start ripening. Yeah. So, even this one is also mature. So, then we are going to harvest this one. And, um, this one, we are going to leave it, leave some parts to even ripe. Yes, so this is the Emeritia variety of plantain. So now here we go. We gave it a support. So. Now, what we've been doing is after harvesting, we try to count the fingers. We try to count the fingers so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So you know we had 63 fingers on this Muretia variety. In fact, in Ghana, this is good for MPC. So definitely, <laughs> um, in fact, you are going to prepare MPC with it. If you look at the way it is fully matured, you can check from here.
look at it fully fully grown if you look at how it is it is fully fully grown you know in fact i'm going to show you the internal structure of the plantain <laughs> so So you can see <laughs> the whole thing and how it looks in fact this is plantain fruit and it's very very nice we will take some time and then take you to the internal structure of the plantain that one i'll take you to the lectures room and that is where i'll get the time to do to explain and show you even the nutritional um value in it yes so thank you very much for watching this is smart agro innovation here is a big place in fact if you can go back and watch some of our videos on the platform but last year by this time the whole place was a nursery yes we have been doing series of multiplications here we still have um a lot of suckers in here we shall soon do transplanting and we take them to the permanent field where they will continue to stay and then we move from there this is smart agro innovation we produce what we eat and we eat what we produce we started way back today we have food so i would say for us to break the gap for us um to meet food security you and i can do more to put laughter in the faces of man um let us all join our hands and then fight hunger food security is what we need especially in africa thank you very much for watching this is smart agro innovation my name is antonio bedu i'm located in ghana west africa if today is your first day of watching us please kindly subscribe to our channel and then share our videos to farmer friends so that at least they can know the good work that we are also doing so there are a lot of uh, plantains in here a lot of them you know these are still here is a nursery here is not a, a plantain farm it's just a nursery but we shall do the transplanting god willing next year thank you for watching This is a particular um, observation I've made from this particular plantain. Yes, it's really not common in plantain fruit formation, but this is what is there. It has a reason. There's a reason behind it. Uh -huh. So that is how it basically is. So this is a, the something of it. You can see it yourself. Yeah, this is the fruit bunch and it looks so nice. But actually, you can see this particular something. I want us to analyze everything. You can see the... But you can see all the internal components. <laughs> Meaning that um you, you see there is another something here uh -huh. <laughs> it's a whole fruit bunch showing that formation you can see that this is also kind of twin uh, uh fingers <laughs> yeah you see instead of these ones growing separately these ones you know you can see how it was formed
Yeah, it looks quite good. We have a number of um, this thing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we had 25 fingers on the fruit bunch. Yes, this is purely plantain. It is ready. You are going to use it for cooking. Yes. In Ghana, we say MPC, but this happened to variety. Yeah, it can be used for MPC, for fufu, you know. But this particular something uh, is what I have explained earlier in the video. Yes.